Tanang mo bata o, tanang mo bata. Wala na hadlo. Kumain. Wala na hadlo. Tanang mo. 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 Tanang Hindi ka pa daw. Sige, kat na! Huwag lang talikod. Matagpaan niya. Isa. Sige, kap lang. O. Ah, gaya kap na siya, o. Ah, gaya kap na siya. O. Mano na, post na. Ay, post. Ay, stop na. Padaan na. Ano, masipaan juga rin. Oh, nakikap na ka. Hello, kanindog, kagwapa nila. Ang guys, kangaros diri guys. Guys, nagkang kayong kangaroos diri guys. Tawa guys, nangatulog sila guys. Adon ako, yung si Maldita ni Nila. Namang ko yung Maldita ni Maldito. Guys, sa picture na ako yung nakita. Then karoon. So, nahuman na mi guys. Dito na mi, nakita na mo ang mga kangaroos. Amo anang nakaan sila. Labing-labing guys. Nakalabing-labing naman sa kangaroos. So, naan na mi dito. So, next na to nga portion is the wetland. Wetlands for the birds. They are for the birds. Oh, maybe it's not here. So this is gonna be the next adventure. So here we are now, guys, at Wheatlands. So gonna be on the birds sanctuary, guys. So different kinds of birds are gonna be here, guys. So no worries, guys. Cause know how my water is still.
May itlog ang kuan. My lizard. Ye. Hard look. Lizard. Imo? Imo. Atong ospostwits. Imo, ay ka ng... Ay, 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 National bird, bird, right? Birds, actually. Ah. Mm -hmm. Say what? So, to communicate emos inflate an air sac on their neck, which makes a booming sound heard up to two kilometers away. Twenty oh, years. Tagal ah. Ay magkukod ni? Amor lang kapun sa tua ang kuan. Ino. Oh, kaya di man ako. <laughs> so, okay na mi guys. Kumana mi sa birds, sa wetlands. So, proceed na mi sa next part. <laughs> Ubra program. Crocodile. A live show of crocodile feeding. Yeah, it's feeding time. Look at true. So hello guys, kita kembali lagi sa Crocodile Show. So kita tengah lagi guys sa Crocodile. So hello tu. Two are there, two are there, and two. Wow. 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 Wow.
पैसा हो गलत है Yeah, you can see even though he was right there in front of Jimmy, as soon as I got back in the water, he couldn't help himself. He knows something we're going to be sort of spending a lot of time talking to you guys about today because really it is simple to work around and to live with these guys. Now, Bluey loves cutting off creeps over here. He knows that the tail walk is the easiest spot to get a feed. He loves just swimming straight up there. Good attention here. We'll just see how we go here for a second, guys. Now, they will strike here for a couple of reasons. One, two. That was a territory. Now he's just going to slide straight by. What we might do, because Bluey's being a cheeky, we're going to skip this creep feed. We're going to go straight to the tail walk. And then once Jimmy feeds him on the tail walk, we'll come back down to the creep here. This tail walk, this is not a trick that we've had to teach him. This is a natural behaviour. We'll hand it back over to Jimmy and he can tell you a little bit more about it. Absolutely. Thanks, Fire. And guys, this is all on Bluey's terms. Yeah, we can condition them to go to certain areas with their food. That's how they hunt the wild. They learn patterns and behaviours. But ultimately, he is smart enough to figure out what we do and model his hunting technique after that. And he was 100% then trying to cut tie off in that creek line. They're that smart. They always want the food, but they want the bigger bit behind it. Now, on the tail walk, like Ty said, they'll use this from the time they hatch out when they're tiny little crocodiles, 15 centimetres long. They weigh only 30 grams, and at that size, they're prey for pretty much everything. So they hide in the reeds, and they use this method to hunt spiders, Frogs and insects. Nice work, man. Good catch. Nice catch. Give it up for him, guys. And you can see, even like even on that first strike, with Jimmy and I had to go back and very quickly. That's a flat out for a crocodile of this size. So you don't have to run away from the zigzagging. These guys, as I say before, are built around the water's edge and in the water. That's where they're most dangerous. If you have, sorry, there's three simple rules you need to abide by when you're up in Northern Australia to live around these guys. Basically, one, stay four to five metres back from the edge of the water. That's outside of the strike range of the biggest crocodiles up there. Two, don't overhang the water. People have been taken by tarballs and crocodiles, guys. See, if it's an undercut bank on the river, don't sit there fishing with your legs dangling over the edge. Uh, all those really big metal lurker branches that hang out really, um, Horizontal over the water, don't climb out onto one of them. As Jimmy said, these guys absolutely love flying foxes, so don't do that. And the biggest thing, guys, do not go in the water. Swimming with these guys is the biggest no-no you can make. So they're the three simple rules. If you follow them, you should be able to stay alongside these guys up in northern Australia with no problems. 